Hi everyone, it's Niall from AmstradNoob.com and today we're going to take a look at yet another way to play games on your Amstrad CPC, this time with the new Ran Canuo Dandinator Elite Plus. This one's new because it has new functionality and new looks and a new cartridge. So let's take a look. So here is the or the Dandinator itself. As you can see, it's got lots of fancy graphics. We've got some buttons. This one here says Alter. We've got a USB port there, old fashioned USB. We've got our connector, which plugs into the back of your Amstrad. We've got a Twitter handle here, which is at ZX because they do products for both um, Amstrad CPC as well as Spectrum. Ran Canuo, that's the team that's making this. And as you can see, it's got a nice Amstrad logo there. On the right here, we've got a blue button which says disable. If you press and hold that when you turn on the CPC, it will bypass the Dandinator and just bring you straight to the normal CPC loading screen. And on the top, we've got a reset button right here. So it does say alter here, but I think that that is actually diagnostics. And up at the top, we have an interesting one. We've got a little switch here that switches back and forth, the yellow one. And if I switch it to the left, that is the built-in firmware or the built-in ROM. It actually has 512K ROM built in. So that's really cool. And if you switch it to the right, you can use it with the brand new CPC or Amstrad designed um, cartridges that work with this. And let's take a look at one of them. So here it is. I've already unboxed it and tested it and stuck the sticker on it. And when you get it, you get it uh, without the sticker. The sticker is on a piece of paper. You have to peel it off and apply it to the cartridge. One thing to be aware of is that when you're putting on the sticker, put the sticker on the side with the screw. So underneath this sticker, there is a little screw there. So there it is. It looks just like an Amstrad CPC floppy, which is really cool. It goes with the whole Amstrad theme. And that basically plugs into your new Dandinator Elite Plus. And if you have the switch switched over to the right, it will play from this cartridge. And if you have the switch switched over to the left, it will play from the built-in cartridge. So that's it. Let's take a look at how it works. Okay, so I've plugged it into the back of the uh, CPC and I've made sure that the CPC is turned off when doing so. Now I'm going to turn it on. And as you can see, here are the games that come with the included uh, ROM that's built into the device itself. And there are many. There's 10 there, and if I press the right cursor key, we can see that there's another four. So 14 games in all uh, built into this. Let's have a look at all those games, just to see exactly what it's like. Some cool graphics. And I think what you will see with a lot of these games is that... Uh, look at that. Look at the colors. It's awesome that uh, quite a few of them are Spanish because, of course, this is a Spanish product and a very good product it is, too. Okay, that's that one. Let's do a reset. So I press that one to reset. Second one, one of my favorite games, 77 attempts. I just love that music. Let's plug in the uh, speakers. Okay, hold on. Okay, they're turned off. Uh, all right, one sec. There we go. Okay, that's 77 attempts. And the next one, Arkanoid 2. I think we've all seen that one. It is amazing, really, to see such quality of games 
that work on the Amstrad CPC 464 even today. All right, next one. Next one, and uh, let's see, Operation Alexander. I'm just gonna flick through each and every one very quickly, just to give you an overview of what comes in the box, so to speak. Decrunching, please wait. While we're waiting for that, you can see that I have many different types of dam donators here. So for example, here is another one from Rand Canoe. That's the CPC Dam Donator Mini Jewel. That's got the built-in, uh, two built-in ROMs actually, but you can't plug in any cartridges. And then we have this one here, which is the old CPC Dam Donator Elite Plus. And that took two cartridges at the top, one for uh, regular Amstrad CPC and the other for DES. So that was that one, the old style. And then there was also, of course, the DES, which is another format altogether. And some other options that you have if you want to play games, like you can use the DDI 5, or you can use the M4, or here's another DDI. I can't remember which one this one was called, DDI-1 or DDI-3. But uh, lots of different options, which is amazing. Okay, let's uh, see, can we see what this one looks like. Wow, it's amazing. Look at the graphics on that. This is an Amstrad, remember? graphics are amazing. Look at those graphics. They are really good. And listen to that music. That's awesome. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, that was that, was that game. Next one. Barb's Palace. Yes, let's get on with it. Oh, so cute. This game is like really amazing, especially if you've got young kids um, and want to get them away from the internet. Go buy yourself a nice Amstrad and Dan Donator Elite Plus, the new Dan Donator Elite Plus, and let them play these. Awesome. Okay, so now the next one is number six. And as I said, I'm gonna fly through these quite quickly, just to give you a, a quick, quick look at what you get in the box. Reminds me of Cybernoid 2 actually. Sort of a modern modern version of it. Definitely reminds me of Cybernoid. That same sort of feel. And I'm um, crap. Okay, next one. Yeah, number seven, Galactic Tomb. Great music. Great graphics, look at that. There's no amazing what you can do in an answer. Okay, awesome. That was Galactic Tomb. And next one is Golden Tail. Let's have a quick look at that.
Okay, we have to read through the story. I guess. Okay, what's coming? And this one definitely reminds me of sorcery. Yeah. It's almost as hard as sorcery. I don't know why I'm blowing myself up as soon as I do that. Okay. All right, I suck. Let's try another one. And that was Golden Tail, I think. Let's look at Legend of Steel. Cool music. CPC Retro Dev. And what happened to the music? It's gone. Okay, that's that one. Next, Magica. Look at that loading screen. It is outstanding for Amstrad. Look at the color. And look at the graphics here and the color. Beautiful. This is a happy little platform game. nice music and it's easy so you don't get killed as soon as you try anything which is good all right next one so outlaws is this the one that has the amazing music let's see Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a shoot 'em up. Okay. That wasn't the one I wanted to see. Profanation two. Is this the one? I don't think so. Oh, it is. It is this one. Listen to this music. Listen to that music. I think that music is absolutely great. That's an Amstrad. Hard now the game. Come on, dude. Okay. Amazing music, I thought. All right. Okay. And that was Profanation Two. Let's look at this one. Pretty cool. Definitely a good uh, variety of games on this uh, cartridge, the built-in cartridge, or the built-in ROM, I should say. Okay, and let's try the last one, which is the return of Track Store, I think. Let's try that. Yeah, and that looks kind of like, I don't know. What are you supposed to do with this one? Oh, 
I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, that was a look at all of the games on the built-in ROM. Now, how about this uh, cartridge that's plugged in? So to do that, turn it off, switch it to the right, the little yellow one there, and then turn it on again. Okay, so there we have it. It took <laughs> a bit of uh, adjustment, as you could see. I don't know why it's so sensitive. Um, I don't know, is it the, um, the contacts on my 464 motherboard where it meets the CPC Dan Donator's uh, contacts? I did clean them with uh, EPA, some... Uh, that alcohol fluid and a cotton bud and I don't know it just seems to be very sensitive to exactly the position it's in there but anyway here we go there's a whole bunch of new games as you can see here we don't go need to go through all of them but let's pick one at random let's go last mission what's this okay That's a cool loading screen from 1987. Really? 1987. <laughs> wow, they've come on a lot since then, haven't they? Um, okay, but it's fast. Very fast. So it's responsive, but it looks like something from 1987. Which isn't always a bad thing. So anyway, uh, this is the first looks at the new Dandinator Elite Plus. Let's compare them side by side, the old one and the new one, just so you see the difference between the two. So here's the old one and here's the new one. The old one had the disadvantage of this thing here, which while it looked cool, it meant you couldn't plug it into a 664. This one you can plug into a 664, a 6128 and a 464. So this one had the advantage of being able to take DES cartridges as well as standard um, uh, Elite cartridges. And this new design of a cartridge, which is just for the new Dandinator Elite Plus, to give it that Amstrad feel, that cartridge, believe it or not, the old cartridges will work in here as well because they are the same shape. Now you do note that they go in backwards, but they still will work. So that's good news. If you have cartridges already, you can reuse them from the old to the new. And that's basically my review of the new Dandinator Elite Plus from Ran Canuo. If you go to neotienda.es, you can pick one up. I think the price right now is at a special price of, I don't know, 59 euros or something. But it's going to go up to 75, so get them while you can. I think there's two left. Great product. Thanks, Jose, for sending this one to me. Um, I did pay for it, so I'm being fair. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.